Hello guys! Good morning! Welcome back to my channel! Today, we're going to uh, Claveria. So, road, road trip tayo ngayong araw. Don't smile! <laughs> Ah, grabe. Ay. Okay. Yon, friend ko, teacher also. Ah, uh, may mga business. Kaya kay kami pupunta doon. Okay, so this is our pilot. Lisa Koy Koy, so it's 8:30 in the morning, I think. So from here, uh, two hours. Oh, more or less two hours. Okay, guys. There's a lot of view and uh, the road going to Claveria. So I'm also going to show you and share it to you the view and the tourist attraction in going to Claveria. Okay guys, see you in a bit. Stop muna kami guys para bumili ng isda. Bili. Bili muna tayo ng isda. So ito ang aming service. <laughs> We're going to climb the mountain. So, to go to Claveria, we have to pass Hingog City. And then from Hingog City is an hour ride to Claveria. At sa Claveria class, I'm, uh, guys, sorry. Sa Claveria guys, ay may maraming mga magandang tanawin. Uh, sightseeing locations there. So, I will show you later. Bili po na ng isda. Para may madala kami doon sa friend na pupuntahan namin. We are entering Hingog City, guys. Just a trivia guys, Claveria is considered as the little Baguio in the province of Misamis Oriental, mainly because of its temperate climate. Uh, when you are climbing up here, uh, the, the weather, oh no, the temperature uh, changes, it's, it's very cool when you are already up high here. So that's why uh, it is called the uh, Little Baguio of Misamis Oriental.
because of its temperate climate, lots of varieties of vegetable grow up here. So this town uh, basically contributed much of the farm products, far, farm produce of the neighboring, bar, uh, neighboring towns and most especially the city of Cagayan de Oro and the city of Hingog. Aside from vegetables and other farm products, they also produce lots of varieties of flowers. So when you go up here, you will notice the little cottages that also sell flowers. And that is one of the livelihood here of the people, local people. I believe it's already three years now that this road has been uh, finished, concreted, which brings a lot of businesses in this area here. There's a lot of sightseeing uh, area or location. Also, they have products that cannot be found and the coastal area and also the temperate weather is very inviting also here This road goes through to Cagayan de Oro from Hingog City and it saves you an hour from Cagayan de Oro or Cagayan de Oro to Hingog and vice versa if you go through the mountain. So that's why a lot of people uh, drive through here to save that one hour. To drive this area, the weather should be considered. If it is uh, rainy, raining, it is not good to pass by this area because it's slippery and to climb is not uh, safe. Also, when the weather is not good, it usually is foggy. So that's why it is also good to check. Uh, what's the weather is like during the day or when you are planning to go through this mountain.
right now there are quite a few construction or development going on so I believe uh, in a few years from now there will be quite a few also resorts that will be coming up in these locations here This town, guys, is basically an agricultural area. Uh, in fact, there is a government college here that offers lots of courses related to agriculture. This is View Deck, guys, one of the uh, tourist destination here in the municipality of Claveria. It is a kind of mountain resort. Right now, they are already starting to open the business again. We're almost in our destination. Oops. We're here. We're here. We're here. 